Getting the OverDrive Media Console app on your Kindle Fire. You will need your Kindle Fire and a wireless connection to the Internet to complete this training. Slide your finger across the screen to wake up your Kindle Fire. First, let's make sure we're connected to the wireless. Touch the wireless symbol in the upper right hand corner. Now touch wireless or Wi-Fi. Make sure wireless networking or wireless is set to on. If you are not connected, touch the wireless network you would like to join. Enter the password if needed and touch connect. You are now connected to the Internet. Touch the House or Home button to go back to the home page. Now touch Apps. Here are your apps. Now touch Store. On a Kindle Fire, Touching a text entry box will bring up a keyboard. Touch the Search in App Store box at the top of the screen. Now type OverDrive. Here is the OverDrive Media Console app. OverDrive Media Console is a free app. If you see an app called OverDrive that is not free, that is not the correct app. Touch on either the word free or the picture of the app to continue. If you have an older model Kindle Fire, touch the words Get App. If you have the newer model Kindle Fire, touch the word Download. The app will now download and install. Please note that you may have to have a credit card associated with your account for this app to download. Your credit card will not be charged for this free app. Now touch Open to open the app. You will now see a message like this one about the app. Touch Close to continue. Here is the app. Now let's register it. On the older Kindle Fire, the menu button will be in the lower middle of the screen and look like this. Touch it and then touch App Settings. On the newer Kindle Fire, the Settings button is in the upper right hand corner. If you have an Adobe ID, you can enter it here. Otherwise, touch Get a free Adobe ID. You will now be redirected to this page on Adobe's website. On a Kindle Fire, you can move up and down the page by dragging your finger up and down the screen. Enter the required information and scroll to the bottom of the page and touch Create. Remember, write down your password. On successful creation of an Adobe ID, you will see this message. Touch the back button in the lower part of the screen twice to go back to the app settings page. Now enter that Adobe ID and password you just created and touch authorize. Okay, now it's time to get a library ebook.